Okay. Okay. <coughs> In Virgo. Welcome. Okay. Kind of a pain setting up a VR stream. But I think I got everything. Everything all set up and ready to go. Hey, Sikolan. Well, I, I got you covered for like 90 minutes, let's say. There's there's definitely a, a time limit on uh, on VR streams. Just based off of... Usually it's because of how well my body can hold up uh, with VR stuff. But in this case, it's the... I, I'm doing this on the Quest in wireless mode. So the, the battery will last about 90 minutes. So... It is what it is. Oh boy. But yeah, I've been I've been looking forward to playing this one for god decades, I think. And it's it's crazy that this got a uh a thing. Yeah, you can't publish code notes unless you uh you have junior developer status. Um and you basically have to go on the Discord um and request permission to uh to be a junior developer it's in <sighs> there's <laughs> there's a lot of a lot of steps you got to do to even get to that point um but essentially you need to join the the retro achievement discord you need to verify your retro achievement account and then you have to uh request junior developer status um and and then i believe they'll eventually get around uh, to making you a junior developer. Um, oh, you have you have no idea. Hey, if you think that's a pain, um, th there's very good reasons why I don't really want anything to do with, <laughs> with them anymore. <laughs> I won't get into them, because I don't want to start drama, but I, I got enough bullshit going on in my life that uh, I don't want to have more of it from an unpaid, thankless position doing stuff like that. So, just, just not going to do it. Hi, Fairy Eater. What about the six before then? Well, we'll find out. We'll find out about that. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's get rolling here because I got I'm on my feet and I have a limited amount of time on my feet here. So, the seventh guest VR PC VR this is a virtual reality. Virtual reality only experience. Only virtual reality for this one. Um, released October 2023, and it is a puzzle adventure, kind of like Myst. So we're we're continuing on with the, the Myst type games here. Um, developed and published by Vertigo Games, which I think this was a studio formed just for uh, making 7th Guest VR. I don't think they did anything before this. I didn't look into it, but I, th I think that's the case. Um, the game is really polished, though, from what I've seen, so it, I wouldn't be surprised if if this is an experienced team that actually made this. Um, so, this is the VR remake of the 1993 DOS game, uh, The 7th Guest. Which, of course, my... <laughs> My thing is not working here for some reason. Ah, oh, fuck it. Um, so, uh, the original game came out on DOS. It came out on Windows. It came out on Mac. In 2010, it got an iOS port for iPhone and iPad. Um, it also came out weirdly on the Philips CDI. So this is, this is one of those games, the original game came out on the Philips CDI, which is weird <laughs> like there, there weren't that many cdi games um but this this was one of them or at least the original version of this was um so the steam description for this experience the most spine tingling vr mystery adventure of your life the classic game that children to the bone in the 90s has been brought back to life with cutting edge vr technology that delivers an atmospheric story like no other 
Uh, six guests have been welcomed to the foreboding mansion, but something sinister is at play. The wealthy recluse and toy maker Henry Stauff hides in the shadows, and there's a dark power here enshrouded in mysteries. Who is the seventh guest? What does Henry want with them? And who will live to tell the tale? So there you go. The, the reason for the seventh guest is because there were six guests invited to this mansion previously, and there are sinister things afoot. Um... As you explore the eerie mansion, the puzzles become increasingly challenging, and there are dangers lurking around every corner, with every shadow, creak, and flicker of light adding to the haunting tension. Unlock new rooms and uncover hidden secrets, all while trying to keep your wits about you against the eerie horrors. The Seventh Guest VR is the ultimate adventure for fans of mystery puzzle games and those seeking a new and terrifying VR experience. Well, I, I think the setup was the, the six guests were all invited at once for like a spooky spooky party at Spooky House thrown by a weird toy maker guy. <laughs> and then uh, perhaps they all died in that one event. And then the, the seventh guest came late. I don't I don't know. I, I know almost nothing about this game. But the things that I do know is that um, some of the some of the puzzles in this are notorious for being like super tricky um and that this was this had some like pretty challenging puzzles uh even for like this genre of game um there's like i think there's a chess puzzle or something in particular that's like that stands out as particularly mean um so great looking forward to being able to do that in vr without being able to write down notes or anything <laughs> so that's going to be interesting um, the other thing that I know about this is back in the late 90s um, at the grocery store you could get these multi-packs of CDs that had games on them and demos and utilities and things like that um, it, it was the 12 foot 12 foot pack or something is, is what it was called um, and it came with like King's Quest 5, Space Quest 4 um, a, a disc that had like 100 Windows applications on it um, things like that, and one of those discs was a a, a demo demo disc kind of deals, um, and on it was a video preview of this game, and it was like the videos were like super compressed, three twenty by two hundred, like ten bit rate video, so you, it's like you have to kind of squint at the screen to be able to see anything. Um, and the the video for that was talking up like the seventh guest. You must play this in the spring of 1994. It's the greatest thing you've ever seen. Like this hype video gas it up, seventh guess. So, and, and it's like a 30 second um, video clip, but hey, that was enough. That was enough to, to entice me, but I never, I never really found a, uh, a copy of this in stores um, back then. So it just kind of fell off my radar and, uh, and then I, I learned about it in the early 2000s. I think I got a copy of this on Steam, I want to say, and just never got around to playing it, I guess. And then fast forward to 2023, and hey, there's a PC VR remake of it. So hey, why not? Just This this will be my first experience with this one. Um, hey, Chops. Um, and then uh, as far as this series goes, the original Seventh Guest was 1993, and then there was a sequel to it called The Eleventh Hour that I believe came out a year or two afterwards. Um, that was pretty much a, a direct sequel, I want to say, but again, I, I'm not super familiar with Seventh Guest or Eleventh Hour. Um, I kind of only know them by their reputation as being pretty difficult puzzle games. Um, so, with that said... I need to boot up stuff here, so give me a minute while I get into virtual reality here. Okay. All right, so I'm using a Quest 3 for this. I'm using it in full wireless mode. Um, Connect. So I'm connecting to my PC. So I'm using the Steam Link official application on Quest to do a remote connection 
to my PC uh, through wireless, and it is letting me boot into Steam VR. And I am launching the game right now. I'll switch over to my other feed right now. This one. Okay, so you guys should be able to see that. There we go. All right, so let me know if there's any issues with audio, video, things of that nature. I tested things uh, directly before this. We shouldn't be getting any audio right now. Um, the audio comes on in a moment once we get into the main menu. Search the rooms for stealth coins and background information. Um, so if you've never seen or used Quest controllers before, there are one in each hand. There are a thumbstick on each controller. There's triggers, a grip button, well, and two face buttons. We were waiting for you. Welcome. Also, we're a spooky ghost. Holy shit. Look at that. All right. Profile one. There's a creepy doll down there. <laughs> All right. Here's the moon. We got spooky. <laughs> All right. Spooky. Looks like a swamp kind of kind of deal that we're in here. Got a rocky chair, of course. Rocking chair, creepy doll, whatever that is. There is a gallows over there, it looks like. <laughs> that's that's just a, a thing everybody keeps outside their house, right? That's just normal. Okay, there's a swing set, and then next to it is a noose. <laughs> like... <laughs> that's, uh... Huh. Yeah, the flames. Yeah, the, the VR version is very recent. Um, oh, I forgot. I gotta... Yeah, I can I can barely see it too, so I think that's that's on purpose. Um, okay, so I have subtitles on. Uh, standing, there's both teleport and regular movement controls, so sure. Um, snap turn, blink to turn, that is fine. Uh, so here's the controls. Um, so left stick is run. Y is menu. Triggers are spirit lantern. I guess we're a spirit. A spirit board, grab, hold. I can crouch and teleport, and that's that's pretty much it. So let's uh, let's hop into it. This will delete your progress. Do you want to continue? Yes. <sighs> All right. I guess I gotta grab the oar to row towards the boat. I think. All right, crouch mode here. Oh shit! <laughs> I just punched my. <laughs> well, that's not ideal. I just knocked over my water. All right. Off to a great start here. Yeah, now we're properly VR gaming. Just immediately punch something off off screen. I remember you. Last soul. But I don't remember myself anymore. This place does that to you. But maybe we can help each other. Where are you, lost soul? There's a spooky child speaking to me. So this this is clearly Do you see your lantern? Take it. So this I, I press the crouch button and it crouches you like barely bending your knees. So I think I might need to change the height offset. Okay, hold RT to equip this back. Okay. Alright, sure. All right, so we got spooky clouds, but then also snake boat with butterflies. Anything else over here? I do like that they give you a light super early. So I have no idea how the original game controlled. If it was like 
if it was full 3D exploration or if it was like a mist type game. It was it came out in 93, so I'm guessing it was mist style of a bunch of pre-rendered pre-rendered business. It brings back objects from the past and even fixes them. It makes the house remember how it used to be. Interesting. Okay. Spooky spider trees. Oh. What's up, Yuzu Local? Uh... is missing something. Hmm. Alright. Can't do anything with that gate. We got a keyhole here. Can I grab this? Give me that key. All right, so it looks like we're missing another, another gem. Okay. Hey, Dark Gucci. Um. Uh, so we're. All right, can I stick this anywhere else? <laughs> Other than the eye. <laughs> Here, eat this while I take the key. Shine on. Maybe I'm supposed to... Guys, help! I'm I'm stuck on the first puzzle of the game. <laughs> this, I know, right? This is. Oh, nice! Congratulations. Starting was the hardest part. You can do it. Okay, so this this is what I was missing. Okay. Okay. Alright, we did it. We solved the hardest puzzle in the game. It's all downhill from here. Yes. Let's go. Old man Stealth built a house and filled it with his toys. All right. So, so far the spookiest thing here is Sixties me. came one night. Their screams the only noise. this stuff out here? No, just regular old moss. Okay. Oh, jeez. Welcome to my house and to the mansion. All right. Can I go back out of sight again? Will you let me? Okay, I was gonna go point out the noose on the, the swing set, but apparently I can't leave now. <laughs>
The toy maker's house. I, I need to remember what happened. I remember his voice playing on the record. There should be a gramophone here, right in the foyer. Am I the last soul, or is... <laughs> Italy, huh? 1881. Alright, we got spooky... Okay, I'm gonna have to... Alright, hold on. I'm gonna have to change the height offset here, because this is clearly wrong. Uh Okay, what if I set that to 60? Oh man, now I'm even taller. Very cool. Uh All right. Hey, Charlie Tree. Either this is a super low table, or... Alright, hold on. Like, I think something is just very wrong. He was a foundling, forced to grow up in a grim and grimy orphanage. A quiet child, without any friends. So he made his own. Soon he discovered he could entertain the other children with the puppets he had made. Everyone loved the shows young Henry put on. <gasps> All right. Uh All right. I don't know if that went in my inventory or or what? Spooky things are afoot. So, I'm not sure what the deal is with this gramophone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Welcome to my house. I'm so pleased to see you all answered my invitation. But tonight promises to be a night full of surprises. Solve my puzzles and perhaps you'll walk out of here with your heart's most secret desire. Do leave your luggage in the foyer for now, as I have prepared a warm welcome for you all in the dining room. I remain your humble host, Henry Stout. This house is filled with memories. If you find them, we can learn what happened. I'll show you. You just have to stand in the right place and look. All right. Is this going to bring me over to the thing I already did? Oh, jeez. Edward? Yeah? We're so far from everything. And what about the rumors? Eleanor, they're just that. They're rumors. Okay? Now shape up. We need to make a good first impression. Stauf has spent his fortune wisely. Never mind the smell. A bit dreary in here, don't you think? Martine, Burden, maybe you've seen me on Broadway. Regrettably not. Brian Dutton, you're on business. Mm -hmm. A colleague of Mr. Stauf's, that must be nice. I've never met the man, though I am intrigued by his success. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did a really good job with this FMV, uh -oh. making it 3D. <sighs> How rude. Hamilton Temple. Illusionist extraordinaire. Do 
Julia Hine of the Hine Hotel. I don't suppose you know the toy maker either, do you? No. But I heard he was run out of town. What did happen to the chief? Oh, pish posh. Where's the dining room? I'm starving. Uh, a premonition. Ah. Uh, spirit dictates it's this way, my queen. If you say so, magic man. Uh-oh. The clock. Five o'clock. Hear the clock chime? New rooms can be explored. This one I still remember. The dining room. Follow me. So this is this is Laura Bow. Laura Bow won the Colonel's bequest. <laughs> this is like literally that. Which I think was late eighties? Maybe eighty nine. But yeah, there's there's definitely something wrong here with my uh, with the height in the game. Um, all right, I'm gonna. Something something is not right. <laughs> I I was probably supposed to be people height and not like way higher than than the spooky ghosts. Uh oh. Okay. I accidentally teleported away from the <laughs> from the the menu. Okay. Am I short now? I am still not short. Interesting. I'll have to look into this for for next time. It it, it like it makes it super difficult to do anything. <laughs> Cuz like I have to, like, crouch down. Um, alright, hold on. What if I change this to... Alright, I think I have a solution. What if I change it to seated mode? This might make me even taller? Okay, this made me even taller. <laughs> Alright, height offset 75. Okay, I'm still way too tall. <sighs> God. Streaming VR stuff is always just the worst time. As much as I love VR, it stuff like this drives me crazy. Staff's not joining us for dinner. I guess our host wants us to fend for ourselves. Great. Is there anything to drink? Okay. But yeah, for the um for the FMV actors that are in this, it looks like they they took every single frame and, and like used machine learning probably to to turn it into a uh, spatial video. And for the most part, it's actually really good. There's a little bit of like the the jitter that you can kind of see with with like 3D photo scans, um, but for the most part, it's actually really good. I'm really impressed. Okay, so this looks like a puzzle, but we have a plate. Yeah, like this is this is super polished. Um, well, besides the height thing, you know, but that may might be a problem with my setup. But then again, I think there's probably a lot of people who play VR in uh, with a, with a Quest Three in wireless mode. So, oh great, I dropped it down there. I'm never gonna get that again. <laughs> All right, what's the deal with this thing? So this this looks like the kind of thing that you have to spin spin the things on to get it to to do stuff. <laughs> All right, there's toad toad spotted. 
the eyes changing is quite spooky. My dear Mr. Knox, how good of you to come during these difficult financial times. But I believe everybody deserves a second chance, just as I got a new lease on life. And tonight, I want to return that favor by welcoming the elite of our community to my house. This house is a mystery for all my guests to solve. A real head scratcher, Mr. Knox. <laughs> <laughs> With only one reward to fulfill your wildest dreams. But each guest must solve the mystery for themselves. Those are the rules of the house, and that is how the game is played. In the morning, only one guest will leave this house. Oh, winner. Uh. I remain your staunchest supporter. Henry Stuff. Henry Stuff. <laughs> Alright. Good talk, Henry. Alright, what's gonna be spooky about this one? <gasps> so this okay, so we got an elephant. This is a really cool effect that you can you can see the wallpaper is kind of torn here and then when you move the the light over it it goes back to its pristine form That's really neat. I'm assuming the original game probably did that too. All right, so this is likely our puzzle here. Oh, go to wait puzzle. It's missed all over again. Oh. Yeah, I might have to, uh... Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can... Filters... Filters... Color correction... Something like this. Let's do that. All right, crank the, the gamma a bit. So like here. And now it's pristine. Hopefully that should be easier to see now. And probably more closely matches what I see. As again, hard to get stuff like that correct in uh, with VR streaming. So let me know if I need to change anything. Um, okay. Alright, so this thing I can grab, but I can't move it past this bit here. So I just need to get this into here, most likely, to unlock that. So it won't let me... Oh, I can twist it, okay. Alright. And then... I gotta twist that like that. Let's do this. Do this. This is quite fiddly. Alright. Another puzzle solved! Alright, so we got a second... second plate. Oh cool, that, that other plate reset. So that plate probably goes here. Alright. Bird, donkey... Anything with this? No.
Ah, that looks like where these go. Okay. And that unlock. Okay, so that. So we have to solve a puzzle to get to the. To get to a puzzle. <gasps> okay. And that gets us this. Neat. <laughs> All right. Oh, it just they just respawn. Very cool. All right. What? Okay, so it looks like I can grab the thing on the bottom. Like, maybe, maybe this is... This, this seems correct. Oh. Huh? So it's child, fish, bird, donkey. That is not bird. Huh? All right, hold on. Anything else I'm missing here? <laughs> Because at this point, I'm kind of just brute forcing. Alright, I gotta really bend over to see this. <laughs> Gla grab the pointer. Pull left trigger to select an option. Look, you can see the available rooms, and it even can give hints. It can even solve puzzles for you if you're stuck. Don't <gasps> worry. Okay, so this is like an in-game hint mechanism. Okay, there we go. Ah, okay. Progression. Completed rooms 0 of 17, found coins 2, Stealth Chronicles 1. Okay. So we're currently in the dining room. All right. Neat. So we got star, arrow, star. I don't think... I don't really see anything else in here that really... gives any sort of indication about what to do with this puzzle. Other than the, the thing that's on the table. Like, there might be stuff underneath the other plates. Okay, so I can't... I can't move the other plates. Okay, so that lit up. So that one's blue. And I'm not sure why. Okay, 
Okay, so if they're if they're green, then they're solved, I guess. Donkey bird fish head. I don't. Huh. So the blue one is is locked in. Like I don't think I can spin this any more than it already is. So maybe, okay, this one, okay, so that one's also solved, or maybe I resolved it. I don't know why it let me, oh, it resets the whole thing, okay. Okay, I think I get it. So this this is a reset button. And then... We head... Bird? No. Okay, so it's got to be all in... All in a vertical row? So that locked in that. Okay, okay. So I think I get the rules for this now. So it's got to... You have to have... The four symbol, four different symbols, you have to lock them in, in either the vertical stripe like this, or around it. Um, okay. So I might want to leave this one for last, or wherever... This one? This one I want to leave for last. Um, so on the top here, we've got... Head, head, fish, two fish, two head, donkey, two donkeys, and one bird, it looks like. So there's only one, one possible one that could be bird on the top. So that's that one. Um, so I think that'll, that'll probably be my starting move. Um... Let's see. So that one's got two head. Where's the other head? That one's got one head. So I think I want... To press in that... What? What? Why are... Why aren't all of these reset? Come on. You're not even trying. I don't know why those didn't reset. Maybe the green ones are correct answers? Fish. Okay, bird. Head. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Professor Layton would do that too. Or at least after you messed up the puzzles and it was it was very discouraging. Um So that one I'll leave there. So we want the other donkey head. Yes, and then that just leaves which fish to do. So there's single fish, and this is double fish. What the fuck? All right, maybe it's the other fish. Okay. 
All right, good. I, I mostly didn't brute force that. <laughs> um, so... So this doesn't have enough to do four, though. Unless there's some other... Some other mechanic that I don't know about. Um... Okay, sure. I... I don't completely understand this puzzle, it turns out. Alright, I'm grabbing my chair. Because <laughs> I gotta sit down. This... There we go. Okay, this this is the more appropriate height that I should be, I guess. Um, so we got bird, 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 donkey. So we need head and fish. Fish, head, okay, sure. Bird. Bird. No, so neither of those. What? I don't, I don't know why there's, why there's a difference here. Why are these popping out? I don't get it. <laughs> are like some of these wrong or something? Okay, what happens if I... Great, very cool. So some... Uh, most of those were wrong then, I guess. Except for these four. So it's... Because you, you'd think it would be oriented like this, where the head would have the, the donkey above it, and then would have the bird to the left, and the, the fish to the right. But the one that's filled in here is not that. Um, yeah, sure, I'll hit me with it. What do you got? Because I... This, this doesn't check out with this. Connect them like Tetris pieces. Well, the... Yeah, blue is the ones that you... That you hit. Like that, that, that. And then if you... If it doesn't check out... Relax. It will come to you. Maybe. Relax. Okay, so like... This, 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 and this. Okay, so so in the the T shape, or not T shape, the the three across, one down. But the problem with that is that you can't do that with. All right, let's hit reset here. I think we need to select groups of four. <laughs> Thanks, Hamilton Temple. 
<laughs> so the game starts backseating you if you take too long. <laughs> like, no shit, Hamilton Temple. But the, the problem is... You can't do that with these four. You know? Um... This, this... So that works. But why did... Why... Why did that not just work when I just did that before? I selected those four, and it popped out again, and then I pressed them all again and it worked. It's like... <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so as long as they... they touch... Hey, boys. Okay, I think I got it. Hey, there we go. <sighs> Time for dessert. Oh, Time for dessert. It's hey. skulls and bones. Again. All right, first puzzle kicked my ass. Stuff seems to know all about us. Yes, and he himself seems to have vanished. Clash, how wonderful. Oh, who gives a damn? Will you look at that ghastly cake? I suppose we should indulge just to be polite. Allow I, me. I wouldn't eat that. Bro. Oh, marvelous. I think I'll stick to the wine, thank you. Surprise, surprise. Oh, shit. <laughs> I wouldn't eat that. Uh-uh. Ain't no way. Solve the dining room. Six o'clock. Okay. All right. Another puzzle solved. Staff Wait, what is seems this? to know all about us. Okay, we've yes. already seen this. He himself seems... Yeah, 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 ghosts. Nice. I'm out of here. Nice. All right, more lore. Hold on, ghosts. Okay. <sighs> Don't you think I belong on the Great White Way? Sure, I did my stint as chorus girl, but lately all I can get are local gigs. And every great artist needs a patron. Miss Bird, whatever you're offering, I'm not interested. <laughs> and if there's one person to solve Stout's mystery, it will be me. Like the back oh. of her dress, you can see it kind of like bubbling. Or at least I could. <laughs> With the... The Z errors from the, the 3D conversion. All right. You probably all like to lie down after dinner. I have prepared a room for each of you upstairs, specifically tailored to your every need. I urge you to explore the room. You may find something unexpected. <gasps> all right. Sure. So if you want to see past cutscenes, you just have to go over to those and and light them up with your your spook lantern. Okay. So we unlocked the second floor, Knox's bedroom and Heine's bedroom and Dutton's bedroom. Is there a third floor? Attic. Chapel. Stout's bedroom, crawl space, ritual room. <laughs> All right. This. Sure. Any blood? Blood on the stairs here. That's 
Henry Stauff, the wicked toy maker. <gasps> Crazy, sick, and mean. Shine the st on Stauff's painting to reveal his true nature. Sure. Oh, man. Oh, man. Spook alert. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> I know this. I know this from the meme. That's pretty great. Oh, what a baller. <gasps> He's also bald, but in a different way. I don't know which which one is open here. All right, this one's open. This is all so beautiful. Just like I used to have when I was younger. Is this part of Stauff's game, perhaps? All right, Julia. <gasps> Painting actually. All right, what's in here? Spare be a jump scare. <gasps> Very disappointing. I know this is, especially since it's not it's not October. <gasps> It's against the law to stream anything spooky outside of the month of October. <gasps> Alright, this looks like a puzzle. <laughs> Alright. Sure. Another message from My weird guy. Miss, hi. I feel honored to welcome such a noble and long-standing member of our community to my house. And it pains me to see your good family name has fallen from grace in recent years. Truly, there is no respect for our elders. To remedy this, I have an intriguing offer which can reverse your ill fortune. This house is filled with mysteries, and before the night is done, you must solve its biggest one, but time is of the essence, as each guest will try to do the same. Stay vigilant, Miss Hyde, and you, Hyde family, will be given new life. In the meantime, I remain your Humble servant, Henry Stuff. Right. Okay, so this is this has got to be the Leighton, um, the Leighton puzzle, where you need to um, do three moves. Your opponent does an amount of moves, and then you need to be the one not stuck with the poison at the end, so. Alright, we start off with three. Okay, they did three. So if I do three, they could do one, two, or three. So if they did one, I'll just do three, and then we'll likely have to do one. Okay, so you did one. And then I'm dead. <laughs> Fuck. 
Oh no. Oh no, I fucked up. Alright, yep. Oh no. Okay. One. One. Three. So there are five. Eight left. Two. I'm dead again. Fuck. <laughs> it got me again. All right. Okay, so eight left. Fuck. This... I don't like this puzzle. Fuck this puzzle. <laughs> Alright. A self coin. If you're stuck, you can spend that at the spirit board and return for solutions. Oh, okay. So that this is literally Professor Layton. All right, sure. All right, what's the deal with this? Okay, so these. This is this is just literally. I'm a cop. This is literally Professor Layton. Is is all that this game is? It's just it's spooky Professor Layton. Yeah, this is literally Layton. Um... I can only move that side to side. Okay. There- I don't know if there's a reset button for this. <laughs> but I fucked this up. Uh... Okay, so I need to get this all the way to the top, and then that... And then that unlocks everything else. Looks like someone isn't ready to be. Buried. Oh my god. Are these ghosts just going to taunt me the whole time. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> I don't know what that did. Uh. So that wasn't the the clock chiming. Oh. Was it? I hear Oh, there we go. So maybe by solving that puzzle it caused the mirror glass to to reappear. And I have to solve this puzzle to probably get the rest of the mirror glass to, to work out. Alright. Let's do this bullshit. 
Okay. I hate puzzles like this, by the way. <laughs> if it wasn't obvious, I hate these kinds of puzzles. Anything with math, I'm just no good at. Alright, so there's eight left. And now I'm, now I'm stuck again. So I can't let it get to eight left. Because he'll just, he'll just win every time. Okay. So we know that. So once it gets to... Here. Right there. Is kind of the point of no return. And I'm... I'm fucked again here. <laughs> oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. God. <sighs> I know that there there is a trick to doing these. I forget what it is. But I remember there's a trick to this. Okay, so we're back to eight again. Please. Please. I hate this. I think I might use a hint coin on this. And it's probably just gonna say, like, get good. Uh... Okay, I think I got him this time. Alright, I got him. Got his ass. Fuck you, buddy. Got you. Okay. Got him. I didn't use that. None of that was the result of logic. <laughs> that was just looking into it. Okay, so it seems like there is one more puzzle to solve here. Dear Miss Heine, we regret to inform you that your loan application to finance your hotel has been denied by our bank. After careful consideration and review of your application, we have determined that we are unable to extend the credit that you have requested. While we understand that this news may be disappointing, our lending policies require that we only approve loans that meet certain criteria. Unfortunately, your application did not meet those standards as revenue of the Ho Heine Hotel has been in steady decline over the last seven years. We would like to take this opportunity to thank you for considering our bank for your financing needs. We understand the hard work, dedication, takes to run a successful business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for your understanding. Joseph Miller, loan officer. So 1929 is when this letter letter came out and it's in it's in day month year which is unusual for I, I don't know if in 1929 they use that sort of notation or banks specifically do but that's a little strange um all right professor another hint coin uh So this, this kind of looks like a puzzle. Oh, it is a puzzle. Okay. The path of life 
all twisting and turning. Uh, okay. So where's the start and where's the finish? Okay. This was also literally a missed puzzle. Uh... I'm assuming that goes like that. I'm not sure what this puzzle wants from me. <laughs> uh... This is this is probably the gravestone. This is Okay, so we got baby and crib over there. Baby and crib. We have young young person. We have middle age, old lady and dead. I guess. So this this is probably our start point. And then we need to make it up to here. Um Okay, well uh, and I guess I can work backwards too. Um so this this jeez, this is very fiddly. So these two are directly connected. These two and these two. Um... <sighs> if I do this... That... Okay, so this goes like this over to here, and then here down, Jesus, down to here to this up over here. Did it. There we go. Let's go. Okay. To the grave, huh? Stop. When the spooky ghost to the still spooky ghost. Okay. All right. That should be everything here. That one is pretty straightforward. So, you live to play another day. It's complete again. Oh dear. Is that me? These bags. These wrinkles. So many mistakes. Like, look at that. <laughs> if only I could start over. My spooky ghost hands are in the mirror, but my... I was once young. Sung will solve Tiny's room. Why is my spooky other things not showing up in the mirror? <laughs> oh, my spooky ghost! 
All right. Are the paintings not spooky anymore? Okay, the paintings aren't spooky anymore. Oh, I didn't see the ducks. All right. Maybe a few. Can you turn the lights off? Nope. Okay, that just doesn't do anything. Yep, room no longer spoopy. Very disappointing. All those mistakes. All I need is one more chance. Okay, so the bedroom... That one, Temple's bedroom, is open. And Nox's bedroom over here. Let's go to Nox's bedroom because it's another small one. Okay. Alright, what time is it? 7.30. This place... Feels like it's watching me. <gasps> You'll be okay, Edward. Oh man, look at that. Oh no, <laughs> typewriter puzzle. So it looks like every room so far has three, three puzzles. Oh geez. Just like your ABCs. Oh, it's a duck. Duck puzzle. <gasps> Strange toys. Seems like Stauf is up to his old tricks. <gasps> Just taking pictures of people who don't want their picture taken, I guess. <gasps> okay, now this is spooky. <laughs> oh, gee. sure what this is for. Landers Bank in New York. He's been buying the company. He knows all about our financial troubles. All right, that's the same bank as the the one we saw before. And this one has the date in the the expected notation for an American bank. So Sure. And this is 1934. The other one was dated 1929. All right. Landeros Bank. Final notice. Okay. I do not know what this wants from me, so I'm going to not press any more buttons. <laughs> yep, that's a plane, all right. Uh, okay, so A, C... I didn't spot where B was. Why are these? Oh. All right. So this one, this one's a snake. The other one was a duck. So if 
I put that there... Does that lock that into place or something? Okay, so if I put that there... I, uh... So we got... Swan and Snake intertwined. The ghost said, mind your ABCs. So there's, there's a B block somewhere. My dear Mrs. Knox, I'm so glad you joined us. It must have been a trying time for you. Oh, there's B. And, and because of this, I offer a most interesting proposition. A simple task. A child's play, if you will. <gasps> exchange for your heart's deepest desire. When all the guests have gathered, you must figure out what it is that I want. It's a puzzle, Mrs. Knox. <laughs> and, and mind you, the others are also working on the same task. It may all depend on who has the greatest need, or who has the sharpest wit. There are clues throughout this house as to what must be done. The house is alive with clues, hoping to meet you in flesh. I remain your host, Henry Stuff. Okay. Alright, another cool message. So we got... Car number one there, um, that looks like the coal, the coal car. So that's got to go directly behind the engine. Um, car number two is over here. Car number four is over there. And car number three is over there. Um, so we got forward. Set. Stealth, really? <laughs> So if I pull this, and then we go backwards. But I need to, I need to get this train turned around in order to get number one. Okay, so that, that doesn't do anything. So I think we have to start uh go like this. So now we got it going that direction. Change this to go forward. Okay. Change that. Okay, so that's locked in now. So we have we have one now. So now we have to go get two, and get that attached to the back of the coal cart. Um. Oh geez, hopefully that didn't. Okay, good. Get this changed. Go backwards. Okay, so I want to put this facing forward into the middle of this track here, and then stop it there. Um, I want to continue going forward, stop it, change this, back up. So we have that now. So if I continue along this bend, it'll still be facing this way. And I don't want it to get to that. I can't just reverse... That would be the easy way to get to that one. So now I got to get this turned around. Um, so 
So we need to reverse down here. To grab this. And then I should just be able to reverse into four here. Okay. And then stop here, change this, go like this, and boom. GG. Ha! Got it. Let's go. All right, easy. Those kinds of puzzles I love, because they are easy. <laughs> All right, so let's figure out this bullshit. Um, okay, so A, B, C, so we have those, those four. So we have duck, we have duck, and that's also a duck, it looks like. And then, so this one, this one is, is glowing green. So I think that's actually in the right, the right position. Um, how and why it is? How and why, I don't know. But so what if I put C here? Okay, so A A lights up regardless of where you put it. Interesting. And the others don't. And I'm not sure why. So why does A in particular light up and the others don't? Is there some sort of... Context clue? Here? I don't see anything. I didn't look at these photos. <gasps> sure. All right, let's see what's in here. Is there a jump scare in here? <gasps> oh, there's another one. Well, shit. I thought... So the spooky voice said, mind your ABCs, but now there's an E suddenly. So the existence of E implies that there would also be a D somewhere. Ah, okay. There's D. There's D. There's D in there. So now we gotta figure out this bullshit. Huh. It's a comptometer. Just like the one I have at the office. A comptometer? Okay, so these switches can be toggled on and off. Um, if I did six and then four, does that change this to a one? No. It just completely rolls over. This is a pleasant sound. Okay. 
So I probably have to get this number onto here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six digits. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, five. I can't make six with these. <laughs> uh, I can make five. Well, this this is awkward. And I also can't make one with this this digit on the. Huh. Hey, JGO. Aren't, aren't you the... A, a fan of this one? If I remember correctly. Okay, so maybe it's in the opposite order. <laughs> it's three... I can't make nine with this one. So... I need to reach a certain number. But which one? A certain number! Maybe it's the one that's circled on the thing next to the thing. <laughs> but... How do I do that? Okay, so that that does roll. O okay, okay, okay. So I was going about this the wrong way. Um, oh, they actually changed some of the the puzzle stuff. Interesting. Um, okay. The one. Let's go. All right. I think that's probably all I need to to do this. Okay. So this is four cross. So I I have no idea what the hell you do with this puzzle. Oh. Okay, maybe you just gotta make it flat across the top. Uh, oh, okay. So you have to link A, B, C, D. So if I so if I put that next to the, okay okay now I I am starting to get this puzzle so I don't know if so you can't stack them vertically on on each other that would that would be too easy um. So that's that's obviously not going to work either. So uh, okay, so it looks like this, this, that, that, and this. So this this should do it. Okay. That that sounded like something happened. Something unlocked. So I need to be able to do that in the the down configuration. Maybe. But 
But I don't see how you could do that. Because it just... There just isn't enough... Spaces to make that work. Oh. Well, that works too, I guess. So I think you need to do a solution here that works in both configurations. Maybe? Because I don't, I don't see anything else, like, unlocking here. Though it was really, really subtle in the last room, what unlocked. Can I grab this? Oh, jeez! Oh, look at you! Aren't you adorable? So like the looking at looking at this so if I take these take these out hopefully they don't disappear of course they disappear okay all right so just looking at this puzzle as it is I don't think it's possible to have these have these fulfill the requirements in this position. Um, which one's A? Like, for instance, this, and if I put... If I put B here... Oh! That still lines up. Oh, okay. And if I put C... Here, does that still do it? So that doesn't. So they have to be within one vertical space of each other. So like this, this, and this. So that doesn't work. But what about this? So that works. So A, B, C. And then D... D can go here, and E can go here. So that unlocked that. Let's go! I solved it! <laughs> Done! The next one will be harder. But Stauf mentioned a proposition. Let's see. What was his message again? Stauf knows too much. The debts. But how? Perhaps he wants to help us. Our heart's deepest desire. <gasps> there! What? <gasps> Don't you see? The blood! There's nothing there. <gasps> Eleanor! There's nothing. Eleanor, we have to win this prize money. D d do you want to see me locked up by our creditors? Do you? Shape up, Eleanor. No more of your spells. Not today. No magic. I just need a moment. Hmm. Ugh. <gasps> and what is it you want, Edward? Solve Nox's room. Yeah, it's, it's nothing but quality folks invited to this. <laughs> 
into this house. Oh boy. All right, solved, solved. Okay, completed rooms three out of 17, Stealth Chronicles one out of 12. What we got on the first floor? So still only the dining room on the first floor. Nothing on the third floor. All right, so we got two more rooms on the second floor here. I'm gonna call this good progression here, because I believe my headset is, yeah, my headset is at 20% <laughs> right now. So I think this will be a good place to call it. Um, I don't know how the save system in this works. I think if I just go back to the main menu. Uh, chapter three, so if I hit continue, where does this take me? Okay, it just takes me back here. There's the solve thing. That's solved. Okay. All right. Okay. There we go. There's progress made in... Oh. Good old seventh guest here. Uh-oh. My thing. There we go. Okay, is this working? That's kind of working. <laughs> Don't mind that. <laughs> Something broke. Don't worry about it. Uh. Alright. That'll do it tonight for 7th Guest. <laughs> it's maybe because I, I, I spilled water on my desk, but it none of it made it to my streaming machine, so... We good, we good. All right, let's let's just go back to this scene. Um, but yeah, that'll that'll do it for tonight. Thank you for watching, as always, and I'll see you next time with some more seventh guests. This game's this game's rad, by the way. I'm really enjoying my time with this so far. More of it next time. See you later.